Yeah. So, uh, Nick, I'm curious, what kind of what kind of work out in the? Are you gonna like I said, you you said you knew a friend that, or you have a friend where it affected. Um, his how he did in school. Uh, what uh, what other things are you gonna do for your research? Um, I'm just gonna kind of look at more cases and like look at the studies of like how they affect kids, like more like wide range from ages. If it like starts at an early age, from like let's say like kindergarten, if those games start like creating habits where you're not as like hard working in school as you could be, and then just how it develops throughout more like intense games, okay. or if the game has any effect on how your attitude is, motivation. Uh, for me, I'm a gamer too, but I feel like I learned there's that, so many things I learned from video games, and I feel like it's not really a fast my education. Like, if you know how to, if you know how to set up the schedule, you know how to, like, what t what kind of video game should you play? Like, I don't feel like it's a the negative effect of video game like that. Yeah, I think I'd kind of look into like what games, how their effects are like. Personally, I don't think sports games have like a bad effect because, like, if I play a basketball game, it's kind of just the same as watching a basketball game to me, and I'm even more involved in it. But like playing a game like Call of Duty might have a negative effect because like killing and using weapons. I don't think uh, like that in real life. Yeah. Sure. Thrown at him. I'll, uh... Hi, this is Nick's English teacher. You can stay in the frame. Uh, so just so you know how it's going in our class, um, we're looking at different places for information. Um, so right now uh, we have access, and just like you guys at your school, you have access to different databases. Um, so right now we're just looking at uh, a database called EBSCO. And he's just going to be searching for his topic in one particular database. But in fairness to Nick, he was sick all of this week, uh, and we just started this week, so today's his first day back. So when we're talking about the research, he hasn't had a chance to actually um, do much uh, new research other than what he already knew. But anyway, and the stuff you're going to see on Youth Voices are people uh, today, they're doing um, research on their topics, and they'll be posting what they're finding just in one particular database. And then we'll move on to other databases, too, as we go. But that's kind of how it looks in the class right now. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um, him, 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 him. Um, him. Nick. 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 Excuse me, Nick? Yeah. Does everybody see what us six graders post? Will you repeat that? Does everybody, like in, like in California, stuff like that, can they see what uh, uh, a sixth graders post also? Yes. They can see your post on Youth Voice. Yeah, I think they can. Yeah. So you yes. can look at each other. You can look each other up, okay? Hey, look. Look, 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 Hello. So here's hi Leah. Thanks, Mama. Um, so here's what I want to do. Do. <laughs> So could could we just have our students talk very briefly about how they play video games and, and the, the effect that they may think that has on them? I'm not going first. Okay, go ahead. Would that be okay? Hello? Yeah. That works. Hi. Good, Nick. And if you have questions to ask them, now's a good time. This is Noah. Oh. Uh, so, uh, uh, I don't think I don't think video games affect so, us. What do you play? Um, I play GTA Five. I play GTA Five. I play all the games that came out, and I don't think that they affect me. I I mean, I, I go with both sides because it does affect me. Me? You know when you're in school and you go straight to the game, you forget everything that you learned today. You, you forget everything you learned. I don't understand. Okay. All right, like let's say if you learn something new today and you go home and play a game, you that forget about what the teacher said and did, and did your work and everything. Really? Yep. That happened. That happened to me because in fifth grade I, I learned about algebra 
Oh my and god, Mister! In my game, I forgot. I forgot about the whole algebra. Oh, huh? it's not gonna be hard. I said hi already. I said hi already. Yes. Yeah, but it's too loud. <laughs> okay. What about you, DeAndre? Do you play games? Yes. It's fun. I play like um shooting games, like action games. Like those are the games I like. And some of the new games are okay, like Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff like that. <laughs> I think it's sometimes. Hi, buddy. When I'm on holiday. Next. Hi, Drew. How can I use good, good, good rule, good rule for scientific research? <laughs> I think All we right. want to go back to DeAndre's uh, answer of how the video games he plays. We can talk about Guru in a, in a minute. Okay. It affects me sometimes because, um, you see, like Noah said, Noah right here, because when he said that um, when you get home, you learn something today. When you get home, you just forget about it the next day. And it kind of affects me, and I have to restudy in my books and stuff like that. So yeah, but the but the good side is that if you really if you really want to learn about school, you can learn what you learn and go home and play your games, but then study again the same day after you play the game. You can still turn it on. Yeah, for me, I usually try to do my homework before I play video games. Just exactly. So that I yeah, I, I, first. all my life. Let them talk. Okay. Go, go, go finish. Go. Oh, all my life I have been doing that. I have been doing homework first because I can't just go home and play games. I have to do homework. Yeah. Just like um, what's his name again? The 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 one the Nick. Okay. Just like Nick said. Yeah. Sometimes though, I feel like when the new game comes out, like Call of Duty or something, all your friends want to play. So then you just go home and play straight away without doing any homework, and then that just kind of no, like create a oh habit oh my <laughs> playing all the time. <laughs> so, man, Mr. Mr. G. Ivan, what do you do? For, um, what do you do? Mr. Mr. Jacob. You don't play video games. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to listen a little bit. So if you guys, okay, so we're gonna I practice listening. Okay, do you wanna talk quickly? About video, about video games and how it affects you. Uh huh. Hey John, do you wanna say something? I can't. Oh, speak correctly. You hear me? You mute your own self, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> It's new. It's new. No, it's, I, I'm on it. What's up, bro? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Don't pull my head. Don't pull my head. Don't pull. Okay, we're gonna. Don't, don't, don't. 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 Everybody's on. Alright, can you, uh, anybody you want to talk, and Nick, you can too, just about the games you play. Good. Okay. Well, Why you know so play good games do. That's okay. Well, well, let's, how about the people who, uh, somebody want to jump on there? Talk about the yeah, Carter and Gabe. Gabe, get in here. Okay, so, that's a no. Right. Joey, you like games? I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm on. Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, what's up, dude? My schoolwork. There we go. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, some of the games that have really intervened with my schoolwork have been, like, on my phone because it's always with me and you, I can always just pull it out. So I feel like those kind of disrupt like learning and stuff like that. So you gotta kind of, you gotta make sure that your phone is like away. And that really will make a difference. So what games do you play um on your phone? Like uh 
like Angry Birds, and then I also look at iFunny a bunch. Oh, cool. So. Do you do you um have um is it that's the game Despicable Me? Despicable Me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that? What game? Despicable, Despicable Me. Me. Uh, no, I I don't have that game. Oh, the like minion game. Oh, I used I used to play that, but like. Games like Temple Run are pretty fun too. I kind of Candy really Crush. Can I just say yeah. something on the low? Is ever since Temple Run came out, everybody's trying to make a a, a new copy of Temple Run. Yeah, I've seen some of those. Uh -huh. As it, it makes a lot of different Temple Runs, so a lot of different but variety. Temple Run, Temple Run, Temple Run, is Temple Run. Who wants to um um finish some verb Temple Run Agent P? Like, come on, stick with one Temple Run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you yeah, ever played on Flappy Bird? Nah, I'm I'm gone into Flappy Birds. It's not really my type of game. It just made me want to break my phone, so I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. Do you guys play Flappy Birds? Yeah, I yeah, play. I play. Yeah, I What's your high play. scores? Sometimes I want to break my phone. Lost some sound. Oh no. I think sometimes. Ciao, future! Carl, go ahead. Carl. Carl. Me and Chief play Carl. Carl there? Okay, so now we're good. You're on mute, Carl. I got it. Let's go. Come on, Carl. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to ask, like, have you learned anything good about video games, like, before? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Uh, have you learned anything good uh, from video game before? You tell me before. Anything uh, good? Yeah, I think, like, in the sports games I've played, I've learned a lot about the sport and, like, even like in the NBA, you can make like a team, and so you just kind of learn how that works and like how to manage the money in that game. And in Grand Theft Auto, I guess you can learn how to manage your money in that too. No, Assassin's even though it's in Creed. a violent way. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed teaches you kind of history stuff a little That's bit, but I don't know. They kind of make it seem they kind of make it really cinematic, but there still is kind of like historical stuff to it. You know, going back in time like that, but. Call of Duty, you learn how to play as a team. Yeah. Team. Teamwork helps so, out, yeah. Well, like, do, do you agree with me? Like, it's not about, like, video game, but it's about, like, how you play the video game. That affect you, right? Yeah. I think sometimes, too, they, another positive aspect is if you play online with, like, your friends, because I know some of the kids that I play with were all friends at school, and so then it's just, like, another con way we connect outside of school. We can talk and just play them together. Yeah, that's like GTA Five. Online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think like um, video, uh, video game with like it's not really bad. Like we can learn many things about video game. We can learn many things from video game. So yeah. it's the way like how you play video game that affect you. Not yeah. I think when problems come in is when that's all you want to do. It just kind of takes over your life and you just play video games all day. But if you can like manage it, still want to stuff, then it can be good. Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, mm. you know, like uh, how much time do you spend? Just tell me about that. Um, wait, wait. What's up, yo, Noah? Yo. You're muted, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. 